out there. Even though Fresno County might not be as big as a metropolitan as LA is New York, we still have our crime and our drugs and our corruption. And here tonight, in uniform but still in disguise, is a cop gone bad. Live with me here in Kirk. And we're gonna ask him a few things. What would make him Leroy? Stand out, dog. Get on with the fucking show. And here we are tonight with the cop gone bad, and we'd like to ask him what makes a cop go bad. Boy, I've seen it all. I have it's fucked up out there. I got problems. I got three kids. I got a divorce. Being a cop in Fresno really sucks. I mean, after you've seen it all, can I cut in for a minute? We're on public television. Let's discontinue with the flipping off. Let's discontinue with the foul language. And let's try to conduct a little bit of order. Society has made me this way. Can't help it. Society. Me. You haven't seen nothing. Me. Them. You, and the people want to know why. You're supposed to be above the rest. You're supposed to be above society. You were given a test, psychological evaluation. He's supposed to be our man. What happens? Is the police system not good? Do they hire any scum off the street? Present company. Not. I have a few questions here. Where's my list? Uh, I'll outlive. We're taking phone calls also. That's what I'm if saying. If you'd like to call in, our number is 1-800-999-COPE. Copy. That's it. Cope. Cope. See what I mean? Everything is on a list. Everything is statistic. Stat are you statistic? Are you under the influence? Oh, no. Did you come on this station under the influence? Kurt. Our newsman, the media, the media, fucks, the media, beep. messes, beep, up everything. They distort our views. When I started out as a cop, I was a good cop. But there's so much scum in the city, you just can't. It's this overwhelming, I can't help it. I'm not really that bad. Kurt, so what? I beat up my wife a little. So... No, that is not the question here. The question here is why. You are a hero to kids that see you. In elementary school, they say, there's a cop. I'd like to be a cop. I'd like to be a fireman. I'd like to be a doctor. You have a responsibility when you took this job to hold up the law. And you disregarded that responsibility. And the public needs and wants to know why, just like I do. Now, I want some straight answers. We all have our problems. I want to know when is the first time somebody approached you and said, hey, 500 bucks, forget about the cocaine. 500 bucks and an eight ball. 500 bucks and a joint. 500 bucks and you can fuck my wife. These are what the pimps and what the druggies are saying to this man and he's liking it and he's taking it. What makes him do it? That's what we want to know. I didn't say I liked it. It's a matter of survival. I mean, to survive in this world answer. today, to survive in this world today, you gotta look out for number uno one yourself.